Hello there. In this video, we will be learning about surface energy and surface energy density. But in order to understand these two things, we first need to understand about surface tension. You might have seen an insect crawling on the water. If you look at this very carefully, it feels that the water is behaving like a stretched elastic sheet. This property of liquid surface that makes it behave like a stretched elastic sheet is what is called the surface tension. Now this simply means that if we have water in a container then the topmost layer of the water will be behaving like a stretched elastic sheet. But how does it behave like a stretched elastic sheet? Let's try to understand. Imagine that we have these two water molecules, one is on the surface and second is inside the beaker, right? Now let's first focus on the water molecule that is inside the beaker. So we can say that this water molecule would be attracted by the surrounding water molecules something like this. So all these surrounding water molecules would be sort of attracting this green water molecule. So in a way we can say that this green particle is in the binded state. It is under a lot of negative energy. So we can say that it has let's say minus E energy. Now let's compare it with a particle that is on the surface. Now if you see the particle on the surface would be attracted by the lesser number of water molecules. Like roughly we can say that half the number of water molecules. So the energy that this particular particle will have would be roughly minus E divided by 2. It would roughly be half of the energy when compared with the energy of the particle that is inside it. Now this is the negative energy that we are talking about. So if we compare the energy of particle 1 versus particle 2, we can clearly see that the particle 1 is in the higher energy state. So what that means that we need to supply energy to the particle that is inside the liquid to bring that particle onto the surface. The reason being because on the surface the particle is having a higher energy state. So this is exactly what surface energy is. The surface energy of a liquid is the amount of energy required to increase the surface area of the liquid by a unit amount. So in a way if we are trying to increase the surface area we will have more number of particles being brought onto the surface and thus we would be requiring more energy and this extra energy that we are supplying to let's say increase the surface area by one unit that is what is called the surface energy. Now let's try to find the expression for surface energy but before that let me show you an interesting DIY. So you can see in this activity that this is a soap film that I have created and as you can see that I have to do some work to stretch the area because its normal tendency is to contract back. It wants to attain as minimum surface area as possible but the moment I am increasing the surface area I have to do some work and that work would be stored as a surface energy. So this is the situation that we were talking about. Let's say this is the soap film and I am applying an external force F on this soap film. Let's say the length was L and by applying the force F for the displacement is let's say X. Now we know that the surface tension or sigma is nothing but force per unit length. So in our case the surface tension would like to contract this particular thing because this wants to attain the minimum surface area. Now if I am applying a force that is just equal to the surface tension so I can say that the external force that I am applying that could be equal to simply sigma times L that is length. So we also need to know a very important thing over here that this thing what we are talking about is a soap film. The soap film has two surfaces, one on this particular side and one on the back side. So in a way we can say that I'll have to apply double the force because the layer that is on this particular side will also try to uh, contract and the layer that is on the opposite side would also like to contract. We can say the net force that I have to apply, let's say we call this as F dash would be equal to twice of this particular force. So we can say that it would be twice of sigma times L. Let's find out the work done that is required to displace this by x. So the work done is equal to force. So in our case the force is f dash times the displacement. So the displacement is x in our case. Now I can write f dash as simply 2 sigma l times x. So this is the work done in order to increase surface area. So this work done would be stored in as the surface energy. So we can find the expression for surface energy as surface energy equals to 2 sigma L X. Please note that with the help of this work I have increased the surface area by this much amount. 
So how much is the surface area that is increased in this case? So we can say that the increase in surface area would be, so this is L, this particular side is L and this is X. So this is how much the surface area got increased by. So we can say that the increase in surface area would be L times X. But please note that this is the soap film and the soap film has two surfaces. So the overall increase in the surface area would be two times of LX. Now we can define the another quantity that is called the surface energy density. So surface energy density is nothing but the energy divided by the surface area. So in our case, the surface energy came out to be 2 sigma L X and the increase in the surface area came out to be 2 into L into X. So we can cancel uh, all these things out. So we will be left with only sigma. So we can say that the surface energy density is actually equal to the surface tension. So the way we define the surface energy density is the surface energy density is equal to the amount of surface energy per unit area. So we can see the comparison. So the surface energy density is defined as energy per unit area. Surface tension that is sigma is defined as force per unit length. Surface energy density since it is energy per unit area. So it would be measured in joules per meter square. Surface tension since since it is force per unit length so it would be newton per meters and the relation would be both are numerically equal that we just saw so i hope you are now familiar with what is surface energy and what is surface energy density see you in the next video till then bye bye